welcome to another edition of Fragrance Chat, and this time we are going to be talking about seven fragrances that involve the note of vetiver, one of my favorite notes. So, of course, I'm excited to do this video, but I have a picky nose, so we'll just see how these seven fared uh, to my nose, and the first one to start things off is Givenchy's Vetiver. I was very excited about this one at first because I'm like, yeah, excellent vetiver at an affordable price. And what we've got going on with this fragrance is vetiver more on the green, fresher side of things with coriander, some spice, and some sandalwood. And the overall composition has a slight buttery feel to it, which I love. But after time went on, I started to notice like this celery accord, the celery note going through this fragrance as well. And after time... Uh, I noticed this unnatural feeling about the scent that just kind of started to bug me. And what I love about Fetivers is the whole natural feel about them. Like you're standing out in a field of Vetiver. You know, that whole beautiful natural smell about what Vetiver has to offer. And something about this fragrance just kind of bugs me and seems unnatural. So Givenchy's Vetiver from me, even though it's still a good fragrance, I'm giving it 7 out of 10. Now moving on to the different companies, sell the vetiver. What we've got here is a fragrance created by Celine Elena, daughter of Jean-Claude Elena himself, and I gotta tell ya, oh, I have not had my nose on any other of the different companies' fragrances, but if they are at all like this one, done perfectly, nothing about this fragrance I would change, perfect 10. Um, this woman definitely got her nose from her father, no doubt about that. Uh, this stuff is just amazing to me, beautiful, excellent fragrance. And what we've got here is uh, a salty vetiver. The salt is done just right, not overbearing, and the vetiver in here is more on the fresher side of things. you got a little bit uh, of grapefruit at the top, and as this fragrance develops, some of the, the green florals come in. you got geranium and lang lang keeping this thing uh, smooth and fresh and pleasant. And what this reminds me of, what I picture in my head when I'm wearing Cell the Vetiver is maybe like sitting in uh, a field of vetiver with like a salty ocean breeze coming in at ya. Oh, I just thoroughly love this stuff. This one uh, it definitely has made it to the rock star throne of vetivers. Moving on, we're gonna be talking about the bad boy, Root de Vetiver. Now, if you plan on reading reviews of this one out there, you will definitely have some interesting reading ahead of you. Because <laughs> this one is a very dirty, aggressive vetiver fragrance. So, uh, me, before I smelt this, reading reviews of this, I'm like, yeah, I must have this. <laughs> so, what we've got going on, the major players in Root to Vetiver, you've got Bourbon Vetiver. So, you've got a real earthy, smoky, aggressive vetiver, real rooty, kind of like that you find in Ancre Noir. And also, along with that, if that wasn't enough, you have got black currant and you have got a healthy dose of it. And black currant uh, is described as, by a lot of people, as having like a cat piss aroma, which I can see, but it's not as vile as that because cat piss, to me, I don't know, I can't, <laughs> I can't stand smelling it. This, you know, is in that same type of ballpark, cat pissy, <laughs> uh, but it's definitely tolerable to my nose and it definitely adds some sort of animalic dirty stankness to that harsh vetiver. <laughs> so, it is a fun one to wear and the overall composition, like fr uh, compliments or comments that I received about this fragrance, uh, a lot of the time was bug spray, and I can totally see that. I can see where people can get a bug spray type of feel out of this, but obviously it's better than that. There's a whole lot more depth to it and a whole lot more flavor than bug spray. Now, uh, I'll admit, this fragrance is not for everybody, but if you're a vetiver lover, I would definitely uh, check Root the Vetiver out for sure because she is an aggressive one and she is a damn fun ride to take. Now as for my final score for Root the Vetiver, this one is getting an 8 out of 10 just because I can't really see myself wearing this every day. I mean, I really appreciate and adore the fragrance, but it's more like them once in a while, uh, take a fun ride type of frags. Now, moving on, we are going to be talking about Diptyque's Vetiverio. 
What we've got here is a vetiver fragrance taking a ride more on the friendly side of the track. So, for those of you that are not a fan of vetiver, you might actually enjoy this one because the overall composition just comes off as a very well-made, fresh fragrance. What you've got in here is the vetiver, more on the green side of things, held in restraint, but still very noticeable. And you've got uh, the musk in here, adding a fresh, clean quality with that vetiver. And there also is just a touch, just a touch of florals, adding a soft, smooth quality with that blend as well. Uh, can't say enough about how pleasing and how smooth this fragrance is on your nose. Uh, definitely an excellent one to check out, even if you're not interested in vetivers and just want to look into a great fresh scent. Uh, this one is definitely a good one to look into, but my overall rating for Diptyque's Vetiverio is going to be a 9 out of 10. Moving on, it's time to check out Le Labo's Vetiver 46. Le Labo is one of my all-time favorite houses, so yeah, I was very excited to check out Vetiver 46, see what they had to offer with the Vetiver Note, and was I let down? Well, <laughs> maybe a little bit at first. Uh, not so much towards the end, because in Le Labo's Vetiver 46, this is not, I repeat, not a Vetiver fragrance. <laughs> oh, the vetiver is very, very, very buried. But, so I was a little disappointed at first. But after I got to know this fragrance and accept it uh, for what it is, not being a vetiver fragrance, this is a very, very awesome juice. Uh, my name written all over it. For those of you familiar with Comme des Garçons Two Man or Gucci Purum, this is along the same lines. And this one is done perfectly. Nothing I would change about it. I would give this one a 10 out of 10. What you've got in here is a mixture of cedar, guaiac wood, and labdanum. And labdanum is kind of like amber, uh, sweet and resinous like that. And this just comes across as something that I could wear as a signature scent every day. So for those of you that are a fan of woody fragrances, uh, La Labo's Vetiver 46 is not Vetiver. <laughs> Don't be afraid to look into this one because uh, this is a rock star in that woody realm for sure. Now, moving on, we are going to be checking out Come de Garçons Vetiviru. I was very excited to check this one out because of the price factor. Because this is the most crazy nuts thing that I've seen as far as pricing goes. Because you can get a 500, 500 ml splash bottle of this juice for 82 bucks. I don't know what to say. That's crazy. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, this is going to be great. Let's check this stuff out. And was I disappointed? Well, this fragrance for me gets a 7 out of 10. You know, that's not too bad. It's okay. But it definitely doesn't rank up there with great vetivers. Uh, but for the price and for what you get, it's not bad at all. For me, the stuff lasts all day. But it just seems kind of weak and seems kind of bland. What you've got in here is a fresh green vetiver. So it's a, a fresh type of scent uh, mixed with light floral from the Neroli. And at the top, you get a little bit of bergamot. Uh, but overall, this fragrance sits very, very close to my skin. Uh, I, I can barely pick up whiffs of it on me throughout the day. So maybe it's just me. Maybe it just doesn't work on my skin. But overall, a very, very pleasant fragrance, especially especially for the price. You can't beat it. I mean, it doesn't hurt to check this one out. <laughs> but overall, uh, nothing that I'm really going to be going after because there's way better vetivers out there for my taste anyways. Next, we're going to be talking about a fragrance by the House of the Knee, and that is Turtle Vetiver Front. All a person really needs to do to review this fragrance is just say vetiver oil. Because <laughs> that's pretty much it. Man, for vetiver lovers out there, you would thoroughly enjoy this fragrance because all the beauty that vetiver has to offer in its natural form is right here. Uh, aggressive, earthy, dirty, smoky, woody, green, everything wrapped up into one. So yeah, I'm a big fan of this stuff. This stuff uh, lasts all day, is very potent. Just vetiver. I mean, you really have to appreciate the natural, uh, aggressive note of vetiver to enjoy this fragrance. Uh, the only point, like this fragrance to me gets a 9 out of 10, but the only reason why I dock it a point is because of composition. I mean, that's it. This fragrance just seems to me like vetiver, which I love, you know, which is great. But what I really love in some of my great vetiver fragrances are how they interpret it with other notes. 
uh, the art form that comes out of that. So this one kind of loses a point just for that, even though this one is one hell of a reference vetiver fragrance. As far as projection and longevity, well, with longevity, I get eight plus hours out of every single one of these, so you can't argue with that. And as far as projection, the only one I had a little bit of issues with was Comme des Garçons Vetivero. As far as the other ones, they did uh, just a solid job throughout the day. And if you're wondering, Dan, what are your rock star, your Hall of Famer Vetivers, your 10 Club? Well, as of now, as of today, there are four. And those four are Vetiver Tonka uh, by Hermes, of course. That's my favorite fragrance. Then you've got Chanel Sycamore. Oh, love that juice. Then you've got Frederick Malls Vetiver Extraordinaire. Very, very natural. Fresh green vetiver. Love that juice. Love to mow the lawn while I'm wearing that stuff. <laughs> and number four, of course, I mentioned in this video, sell the vetiver. Uh, all of these four are just rock stars, my vetivers, I will always have in my life. Uh, just great stuff. So, uh, if you're new to vetivers, wondering where to check out, I would definitely look into those four I just mentioned for sure. But, that's it for the session of vetivers. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys take care, and we'll see you soon.